Welcome to Time of Death. This video is for informational purposes and in no way meant to glorify or condone violence. In today's video, we'll be discussing the murder of Jose Manuel Melendez. Melendez was shot and killed on Friday, August 12, 2016 in the 800 block of East Michelle Street in West Covina, according to LA County Coroner Records. Anthony Burguan and Andrew Orcasitas were subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. The following is the evidence at trial. On August 12, 2016, Ms. Nguyen threw a party in her mother's backyard in West Covina. Though Ms. Nguyen had permission to have only about 20 friends over, approximately 100 people attended. The party was advertised on social media and attendees paid a small entrance fee. Among the attendees was Mr. Gallegos and his friends Jose Melendez, the murder victim, and Mr. Saldana. Saldana and the victim brought a nitrous oxide tank with the intent of selling Nosfield balloons to party goers. Also at the party were defendants Burguan and Orcasitas. A handful of other attendees interacted with defendant Burguan while he was there. Among them was Mr. Contreras, who recognized defendant Burguan from high school in a local park. He and defendant Burguan exchanged greetings when they passed. According to Contreras, defendant Burguan was wearing all black, including a black hat with a yellow P on it. At some point after Mr. Gallegos, Mr. Saldana, and the victim had been at the party for about an hour, Defendant Burguan approached Gallegos and said he wanted the NOS tank. Mr. Gallegos turned toward defendant and saw he had lifted up his waistband to display a gun. The victim then tackled defendant Burguan and Saldana moved to restrain his arms to prevent him from reaching the gun. Defendant Orcasitas then approached Mr. Gallegos from behind and shoved him. Gallegos shoved Orcasitas back and said he wasn't going to let him through because defendant Burguan had a gun. Orcasitas informed Mr. Gallegos he had a gun too and pulled it from his waistband. As defendant Orcasitas approached, defendant Burguan yelled, blast these fools, at least three times. After first firing a shot at the ground, defendant Orcasitas fired the gun at Mr. Gallegos but missed. Mr. Saldana, who had been trying to get defendant Burguan's gun away, stopped and turned around. Defendant Orcasitas then shot Saldana in the stomach and he fell to the ground. As the victim was still on the ground wrestling with defendant Burguan, Orcasitas shot the victim in the back. Defendant Burguan and Orcasitas then fled the scene. West Covina police officer Lori Pruitt arrived at Ms. Nguyen's house in response to a call about a party with an unknown disturbance. Officer Pruitt saw people running and screaming and someone told her a party gore had been shot. On her way to the home's backyard, Officer Pruitt encountered Mr. Saldana, who was holding his stomach and said he had been shot. While other officers attended Mr. Saldana, Officer Pruitt entered the backyard and saw the victim laying on the ground. He was in pain and kept repeating, I'm dying, as officers attempted to assess and treat him. The victim eventually stopped breathing, and the coroner later determined the cause of his death was the gunshot wound he sustained to his back. Mr. Saldana underwent surgery and survived, but doctors were unable to remove the bullet in his body because it was too close to his spine. In the days that followed, police officers continued their investigation of the shooting and uncovered evidence of defendant Burwan's affiliation with Puente 13. From the room where defendant Burguan was living, a detective recovered a black Pittsburgh Pirates baseball cap, a DVD case with Puente D Street Gang written on it, and a piece of paper inscribed with Puente D Gangster Loco. The investigation also uncovered evidence regarding defendant Orcasitas. Orcasitas was affiliated with a Puente 13 clique known as Hurley Street. His moniker was Enemy. Orcasitas had two Facebook profiles one of which included photos of him displaying a P gang sign while wearing a Hurley shirt and a Pittsburgh Pirates baseball cap. In September 2016, police arrested defendant Burguan in connection with the shooting at Nguyen's house. Defendant Orcasitas was arrested the following April. Ms. Tamayo, who was defendant Orcasitas' on-again, off-again girlfriend, spoke to police officers in April of 2017. During the interview, Ms. Tamayo was initially reluctant to provide the officers with any information but she eventually admitted defendant Orcasitas told her he saw a gangster getting beat up at the party and he shot two people to defend gangster and himself. In 2019, the people filed the criminal information against defendant Burguan and Orcasitas. The information charged them with one count of murder with an associated robbery murder special circumstance allegation, two counts of attempted murder and one count of attempted second degree robbery, including gun and gang allegations. Defendant Orcasitas subsequently entered a plea and was sentenced to 15 years to life. Following the trial, 
The jury found defendant Burguan guilty on all counts and found true the gun and gang allegations. The court sentenced defendant Burguan to 39 years to life. Jose Manuel Melendez was 21 years old at the time of death. 